Brian Keneally! Brian! What's up? How are we doing, everyone? Having fun? Uh, all right. I'm, uh, I'm Sicilian. My family's Sicilian, but I uh, went to college in the South. They don't have those down there, so I'm pretty sure everyone thought I was Jewish the whole time. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind the comparison. I like Jewish people. They're like the hipsters of religion to me, you know? They stuck with the Old Testament, you know? They're like, God's cool, but have you heard his Old Testament stuff? I'm, I'm into it. Like, if it's true that uh, God, like, sent Jesus down, sacrificed him on the cross, did all that, Jewish people were the ones that were like, boo, do your old shit, do the candle thing. <laughs> we like the candles. Bring back the burning bush. That was, that was better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Jewish. Uh, I'm a straight white guy, if you couldn't tell. Um, I, everything, I don't know. Um, it's pretty convenient, honestly, you know? Give it a shot if you have the opportunity. I'd recommend it. Um, I think the main thing is like nothing, nothing in the news affects me. You know, it's pretty convenient. Like I don't, I've never been upset about anything to like make a sign about it. You know, I don't have to do that. Like I've never like seen something and be like, oh shit, they're saying we're not people again. Like, and go to Dwayne Reed and be like, where the fuck is your arts and crafts section? I need, <laughs> I need to sort some things out. You know? Now, the, uh, straight white guys, we do make signs, though, but they're more like, stop, you know, keep out. <laughs> Men's room, the women's room, that was us. We pretty much, <laughs> we pretty much nailed that on the first try. Uh, you're welcome. Um, whites only was one, since been <laughs> retired, but it was pretty popular at one point, unfortunately. Um, no, when straight white guys get mad enough to make signs, it's bad, you know? There's tortures involved, people start doing parkour on the Capitol, it's not. You don't want that to happen at all. Speedy, would you guys see what happened to France this summer? Yeah, they're having like their own race riots. Whenever this happens in another country, it's not a good thought, because you don't want this stuff to happen anywhere, right? But a small part of me is always like, nice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's not us this time, it's not just us, you know? Because America, we got race problems, you know? But every time someone gives me an example of a country that has no race problems, it's always like the Netherlands or like Switzerland, just a country with a bunch of blonde-haired, blue-eyed white people hanging out in the snow, <laughs> you know? Like, I think if you live in a place that if Hitler was gonna visit it today, he'd be like, see, this is what I was talking about, guys. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? You shouldn't be like, we did it, we solved it. Like, we figured, I don't think that's the goal. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't watch the news, really. <laughs> I, don't, I barely know what's going on. I only, see the, I only see the news like once or twice a year when I'm in like a doctor's office waiting room, you know? I don't like going to the doctor. I get very nervous to go to the doctor. I get anxious. Um, mostly because I know there's gonna be one part of the exam where the doctor's gonna touch my balls. And I'm gonna laugh. I laugh. <laughs> I can't help it, I do it every time. It's not, it's not even that funny. And I don't know if you've ever giggled like a Japanese cartoon schoolgirl while another man is cupping your balls, but <laughs> changes the mood in the room <laughs> quite a bit. Things, feels different. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> I lie to my doctor too. Does anyone ever lie to their doctor when they go? I lie to my doctor every single time. I think it started when I was like 13 and he'd like ask questions like, do you drink, do you smoke and all that? And I didn't want to tell the truth because I didn't want my mom to find out, you know? And I just still do it because I know this guy's a fucking snitch, dude. Like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not letting my guard down now. I've come, I've come this far. It's not time, I don't know. Yeah, I lie. I told my friend I was doing that and he's like, you shouldn't do that, dude. You're there to help. Like you're 27 years old, you have your own health insurance. You should be making an appointment to go lie to another grown up, you know? But I don't know, he's gonna give me new information, right? He's gonna tell me it's bad for me. Like, I know that, I'm not stopping, <laughs> right? I'm not stopping. Also, is it gonna like change the course of his exam in any way? Like if I'm like, I had 20 beers this week, he's gonna be like, holy shit, dude, let me get my gloves. Like. <laughs> Turn around, turn around right now. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't wanna 
encourage him to touch anything else that might make me laugh. You know? <laughs> it's not good. Um, makes me feel bad for like weird dogs like proctologists that just have like, you know, like how do you get into that? Or you're just like, my father was in the butthole business and <laughs> his father before him, you know. We built this country's buttholes, my family. Uh, all right, I think that's it for me, guys. Thank you.